Right, um, this is probably easier to read through than what I might try to explain it. Um, let's have a quick look at this. Let's see if I can explain it. Um, right, okay, a is negative 4. So here we go. Here's a problem. What's the square root of a cubed? If I put negative 4 into this, where a is, and I cube it, I'm going to get negative 64, and I can't square root negative 64, okay? If a was positive 4, this would be okay, okay? Because when I put it into here, so what's 4 cubed? Well, that's 64, okay? And I can square root 64, it's 8, okay? So hopefully that's fairly logical. Now, the thing about... Um, when you're square rooting a square, now I always like to think when you're square rooting a square, it's like you're kind of cancelling them. Maybe, okay? So let's have a look at this. Let's see how much we can explain on this. Right, so I'm doing this one instead of this one, okay? Now, we've got a negative 2 to put in here and we've got a positive 2 to put in here. So here we go. There's the problem. Let's put the negative 2 in, okay? So, um, negative 2 squared is positive 4. When I square root it, I get 2. So really, I didn't go back to where I started, because I started with negative 2 inside there. Um, so what we're saying is, is the answer is the absolute version of whatever was inside the radical sign. And uh, you're trying to avoid saying, I know that it's a squared version. What's that number that's been squared? It's negative 2, all inside a big square root. So I'm hoping to go back to where I started, which is negative 2, but it wasn't. All right, I came back with a 2. So if we just kind of, just kind of say this, all right, it's the absolute version of whatever you have inside there. Uh, this is the general rule here. Now, if I just put 2 squared in here, and of course 2 squared is 4. When I square root, it's 2. That's nice, of course. But also, when I absolute 2, I get 2. Just like if I absolute a negative 2, I get 2. Now, let's have a look at this. So maybe that's not too good an explanation. Let's just do this. Right. It's nice to be able to think this. What's 5 squared? it's 25. What's the square root of 25? Takes you back to 5, okay? So in other words, it's kind of like that thing that's in there. It's almost like you've cancelled the square root bit and the square bit, and it just leaves you with that thing inside. But if I do this, what's negative 5 squared, okay, and then square root it? Well, I can't really see I've got to cancel the square root and the square sign, because that leaves me with negative 5 inside, because look, what's negative 5 squared? 25, positive. Square root that, you get 5, all right? So for that one, I can't really say, oh great, they cancel, I'm left with negative 5, okay? So just think about this. It's kind of saying whenever we square root a square, the answer's the absolute version, okay? Because we can't have a negative answer. Um, okay, so try and read through that one and see if it kind of makes sense, okay?